Now, let's talk about Netflix releasing a new film, Scoop, based on the inside story behind Prince Andrew's disastrous interview with the BBC about his friendship with sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Let's have a look. So I'm just saying that's the story. And it doesn't change unless you change it, unless you tell us a different story. Your story in your voice. I really don't understand why everyone's so obsessed with my friendship with Jeffrey Epstein. I knew Jimmy Savile so much better. <laughs> Certainly looks like him. The film is based on the story as told by TV booker Sam McAllister, who got the prince to sit down for an interview. And Kinsey, it's already got some people feeling sympathy for the prince. Not me. Uh, Tell, tell me about how, uh, what impact this film's going to have for the royals. Well, yeah, I mean, I think ultimately this is horrible PR-wise because you're introducing an entire new generation to the Prince Andrew and Jeffrey Epstein scandal, a generation that was mm. hooked on the Where is Kate, you know, obsession that's now getting their hands onto them a brand new royal scandal to get all worked up about. Uh, and, you know, specifically, mm. uh, they have a scene where Princess Beatrice is sitting next to her father and negotiating this interview and saying, you know what? I've looked you up online. People are saying horrible things. Maybe we should do this. I, I highly doubt she appreciates her part in, in the film. But, um, you know, great reviews critically. But I think PR-wise, it it's going to be hard for the royal family uh, to sit back and watch this revisited not once, Rita, but twice, because Amazon is releasing a similar production called A Very Royal Scandal, which will cover, cover this exact same thing. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's it's going to be a, a difficult period. There's no way around it. There, there are so many unanswered questions with this saga and it's ugly. It, it's undoubtedly ugly. Now, Prince Harry's US visa application has been handed over to a judge. His drug use, as admitted to in his memoir Spare, is the subject of a high-profile lawsuit brought by a conservative think tank in the US. He's fighting to stop the release of these documents does this latest update suggest uh, they could be made public? Absolutely. I mean, so what we know about the Heritage Foundation's pursuit is that they want to know whether or not Prince Harry received special treatment or if he lied on his application. The judge said, you know, I need to see what's inside of this paperwork to determine whether or not this should be released to the public. Is this you know, a, a value to American citizens? Why would they care? So uh, the judge, I mean, right now, Rita, he could be you know, flipping through this paperwork. And I do believe if Prince Harry lied on on his visa application, it will be made public. Um, ultimately, if Prince Harry lied, you know, he could be booted out of the United States under a Trump administration. I do not believe a Biden administration is going to, you know, oh, no. her, you know give him any trouble. I, uh, since we've been talking, 5,000 people have crossed the Arizona border, so I think, I think he's safe. But under a Trump administration, I think Prince Harry should be pretty worried. Well, he should be worried because Trump has already commented on this. He's not a fan and uh, he's not a fan of the double standard. So he could be in trouble. Can you imagine that story if Prince Harry is deported from America? Wow. We'll, we'll, we'll be talking about that for weeks if that happens. Uh, talking about Prince Harry, he and Meghan have uh, once again tried to make political moves in the US. Apparently they are supporting this bipartisan coalition with support from Hollywood power players to prepare US voters for a possible deep fake onslaught as the campaign year goes into high gear. I mean, come on. I mean, these two should just stay out of this stuff. Anything to do with politics, so-called disinformation, misinformation, particularly given the disinformation this couple has put out there. I mean, we all remember the Oprah interview. 
Well, you know, I have a hard time believing that it's bipartisan when it's run by Miles Taylor, who uh, he, it's a, the future us. Um, and it, Miles Taylor is a, a notorious anti-Trumper. So bipartisan makes me yeah. laugh. But you're right against disinformation. I'm not taking any advice from Prince Harry on disinformation. This is a man who thought he was on the phone with Greta Thunberg for half an hour talking about his private life and politics. And it was YouTube pranksters that broadcast it on, on YouTube. So when it comes to disinformation, Prince Harry is not an expert.